Hi everyone. Hello, Sarah here from Sarah McCauley Studio. How are you today? I hope you're really well. I've got a lovely project to show you this evening, um, which I've been kind of dying to um, unveil and unbox for ages. <clears throat> so this is going to be, um, it's, it's a very, very pretty design. You might have seen some of the other Aussie decor people using this, but it's the first time I've been able to use it. So it's pretty special for me. While you're jumping on, um, just say hello. Let me know where you're coming from, where you're watching from. Um, hi, Jesse. Nice to see you. And uh, drop me an emoji. Let me know how you're going today because um, we are all experiencing different stuff in different parts of the world. And um, this is such a nice time for me to connect with you and just you know enjoy hearing where you are and what you're doing. Hey Deanne, how are you today? How's things in WA? I hope you guys are okay over there. Um, we're having all sorts of um, stuff going on in Sydney, but tonight's not about that. Tonight's about creativity and fun and showing you this lovely transfer. So I'll get right into it while um, some more of you jump on. Um, you've got a storm, Deanne. Oh, okay. Well, you stay safe. I hope you're cosy and, and tucked up somewhere nice and, and, um, and warm. Um, while some of you are jumping on, I'm just going to show you exactly what I'm demonstrating tonight. Um, my name's Sarah. I am a brand ambassador for Aussie Decor. And um, tonight we're looking at the Koi and Lotus transfer. Um, comes in this uh, tube and when you receive it it's actually got six different transfers inside so I'm just going to give you a quick show and tell of all the transfers because um, you really get a lot in this pack hi Yvonne how are you it's nice um, it was nice exchanging messages with you today um, this is the smallest of the whole pack and that's actually got a lot of detail in it. Look at those beautiful koi. So this might suit um, one of your smaller projects. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this one tonight because I do have a, I've got a plan which I will show you in just a moment. Number two transfer in the pack. Very, very pretty eye-catching lotus flowers. And then these two, I feel like these two kind of go together because they're similar color scheme. They're a little bit more pinky purpley. Uh, those are, um, you know, the kind of the seed pod part of the lotus flower. And those are just, ooh, beautiful pinky purpley ones. I'm actually just going to put them on one side. And again, this one seems to fit the pinky purpley theme. And this one has, I don't know if you can see, but it's got really lovely like dragonflies flitting amongst the blooms uh, so you get a lot of projects out of this pack and the number six transfer <laughs> this is actually too big to show you on my camera look at the size of that koi lotus um, all sorts of different types of fish swimming about and it's actually a meter long I measured it um, or if you're in uh, measuring in inches 39 inches honestly spectacular um, so you could actually put that on a really big piece of furniture you could cut it up and use it across drawer fronts um, I can think of a million uses for this I'm going to use a tiny piece of this tonight and I'm going to work with this one tonight because this one just happens to fit my um, work, my project perfectly. Hi Shelley, how are you today? Thank you for joining me. So this is my project, this little oriental style cupboard. Can you see that? I hope you can. Um, I actually did a demonstration on a slightly larger one of these <coughs> a few weeks ago. Um, this one was in very rustic shape when I got it. It had all sorts of dents and gouges and I have literally spent a few weeks patching it up. I'm glad it, it has taken shape as well as it did because 
it was um, it had been thrown out and also left out in the rain for a while, so it needed a bit of work. Hey Caroline, how are you today, hun? Good morning. Have you had your coffee yet? Caroline is um, one of our lovely content creators based in Cambridgeshire and she does beautiful work. I love seeing Caroline's pieces. So I appreciate you being up early and watching Caroline. So what I'm planning to do is a bit of a hybrid of things because I think, um, because this is sort of oriental start, I think it will work really well with the lotus and koi. I've painted the interior too. I've given it this kind of deep, uh, I'll bring the camera just a little bit nearer so you can see. It's got this deep ocean um, color inside. So what I'm aiming to do is some lotus on the outside, some koi on the inside, and I might not be able to get through all with you tonight, but what I'll do is keep going with it and I'll post photos. Thanks, Caroline. Hi, Belinda, how are you going today? Thanks for watching, hun. Um, so that's the plan. And also this cute little drawer, I've also painted inside here. So I can, we can also sprinkle some lotus, some koi, you know, I'm thinking just a whole celebration of Japanese stuff all over it. I think what will might make tonight easier for you to see. Hi Sonia, how are you love? Where are you, where are you watching from? If you can let me know, I'd love to know. We've got, um, we've got some Aussies, we've got some Brits on. I don't know if we've got any, um, any of the Americans on tonight. We often get a few Americans joining on at this time. Thanks, Jesse. So what I think is gonna be a bit easier is I'm gonna take these doors out and so that I can put the transfer on them flat and then slot the doors back in. So if you will bear with me one moment. While I get these out. Okay. And this is where I'm gonna put my little fishies. So that's gonna be a bit of fun. But, and I'm gonna to tilt my camera down so that you can see these doors. I'm just gonna take this little piece out, that's the little bar that holds them together. And I keep losing it, so I'm actually gonna put it in the drawer so I know where it is. Um, and though you can't see me, me <coughs> I can still see your comments, so that's good. So this is the one I'm going to use across the front of the drawers, doors rather, sorry. Okay, move that back, that's a bit better isn't it? Please yell out if you can't see. And I have actually done a little bit of a measurement down the middle because I'm going to cut it first and tape it on before applying. And then I know that this is going to go over the edges a little bit on either side, so I'm going to cut that. And if I can be very clever, I'm going to put it on the sides where the doors finish. Hi, Noeline. So I have marked midway point on my transfer there. So I'm just going to cut it there. I could actually put it on um, across the doors and then cut with a craft knife. But for sake of ease for this demonstration, I'm going to cut it now. So as I said, I've just put a little mark with a marker pen along the middle. And I'm going to mark it on the front of the transfer. And this feels a little bit scary putting pen on the transfer, but what you're actually doing, you're only putting pen on the acetate bit, which is the bit we're going to throw away. Because the transfer is on the back and it transfers off the back of your piece of acetate onto your furniture or your project or whatever you're doing. So it looks like I've completely ruined it, but I promise you I haven't. And I'm just gonna snip that and then I'm going to stick it on so that it doesn't move around while I'm transferring it on. Because if there is a little bit of movement, that's when the transfer can crack slightly and we don't want that. 
So this one I'm going to put aside for this door. This one's going on this door. And I've just realised that there's a gorgeous lotus that's going to go over my, um, you know, this piece of hardware. So I might have to be a bit creative with that. So um, I know a lot of you on this um, in this group have used transfers before. Jesse, I know you have. Um, but if you haven't, they're kind of, I find them quite a magical product, to be honest. They come on this backing sheet, this white backing sheet. This is the bit we peel off and discard. So we don't need this. I will actually keep it um, for burnishing my design afterwards, which I will show you. But long term, we don't need that. And then your actual beautiful transfer, you stick down on your design. I'm actually going to snip a bit of this off because it is going to go over my hardware piece. So, hmm, didn't think that through too well, but we're going to, we're just going to wing it. It's going to be okay, I promise. What I'll do is I'll cut down there and I'll cut along there. Here we go. Okay. I just love the colours in this. I think they're so pretty. And it looks like a painting up close. It really does. It looks like a, a watercolour painting that someone has created. It's really, really pretty. So first step is I'm just going to press it down gently with my fingers. This part I'm going to lose. I don't need that, but I might try and preserve that teeny tiny bit of green in case I need that. There we go. Okay. Right, and I'm going to use my painter's tape. You can use painter's tape, masking tape, whatever you have handy. You don't have to do this. I like to do it just so I know that my piece is secure. I'm not going to wiggle around. There we go. And I'm taping it onto um, a chalk painted surface which I have varnished and the reason I have varnished it is because the chalk paint is um, for those of you who have used it you know it's quite dusty and porous until you've sealed it so I've actually used a satin um, furniture varnish it's like a satin finish one to seal all over before I even put my transfer on and I will actually seal over the top of my transfer at the end that way I know everything's protected I can wipe it clean it's not going to get damaged hello Linda how are you today Han thank you for joining me I'm working with this koi and lotus transfer and this is the lotus bit and if I've got time I'm going to do some koi carp as well um, so I need my yellow transfer tool some of you have seen these when you buy your transfers online on the Aussie Decor Transfers um, website, you can now choose whether you want one of these or not. So if you've already ordered transfers from us, you've got a heap of yellow tools, you don't want another one, you don't have to go and have another one if you think it's wasteful use of plastic. On the other hand, if you need one, just tick the box. If you need several, you can also tick the box. For example, if you're doing a project with friends or running a workshop or that kind of thing so it's an you know it's which we're here to kind of keep you happy give you what you need but also not be wasteful as well so I'm just going to start at one end I'm going to start at the end nearest to you to rub my transfer and uh, transfer it off the acetate and onto this piece and I tend to try and start at one end so I know where I've been and as you can see, I'm using this um, hard end of the plastic. I just find it easy to use. You get a lot of leverage with it. 
You can use this, um, the wider end for sort of smoothing it down all over. And then the, but this end I find that's where you get the real leverage and the idea of it. And I apologize to those of you who are all over this already, but the idea of it is to use a little bit of your pushing power to gently coax the transfer of the acetate and onto your furniture or your piece of homewares or whatever you're doing with your project. And you can see actually fairly early on when um, the acetate starts to, it starts to get a little bit opaque, which is where you know that it's actually adhering. But you can take all the time in the world over these and don't worry if it doesn't, if you miss a bit, you can go back and do it. It's, um, you don't have to rush it and kind of worry about getting it wrong. And I'll show you when I start to lift it up a way that you can make sure you've got it all adhered. Hi Sonia, how are you Han? Thank you for joining me, I do appreciate it. For those of you who weren't on this call at the beginning, I'm doing the Koi and Lotus Dry Rub Transfer. And I'll just give you a quick glimpse for those of you who missed it at the beginning. Some of these amazing Koi's. So I'm hoping to use some of those on this piece as well. I'm going to put some of them inside my little cupboard as if they were swimming around. And because I was kind of a little bit fascinated with these koi, I did a little bit of um, research and I ended up on YouTube watching an amazing video about an English guy who goes off to Japan on a tour of the, all the koi farms. So I learnt quite a bit about koi. And I, I learned that they're the national fish of Japan. They're very friendly. They can get get really big. I don't know if any of you have got an experience with koi. I didn't know much about them, but yeah, they can get absolutely huge. And um, the ones in Japan are, um, they're kept up in the mountainous area where the water is very clear and very pure and they're kept in these mud pools where they've got loads of room to swim about, they've got good food, they eat crayfish and worms and stuff, and they just, they seem to be treated very nicely, which is always good to see. Um, and they reach huge prices at auction, apparently the most expensive koi, <laughs> most expensive koi was sold at auction for $1.8 million a year or two ago, which I was like, I just cannot believe I cannot believe that price, it's incredible. So I found that really interesting and then I realised I was just spending too much time on YouTube learning about koi. So, um, but yeah, they're pretty fascinating animals, are very beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to show you where I'm up to for those of you who are, aren't watching. So I've been working on my way up. I've pushed the transfer onto the piece of furniture. And then what I generally do is I just release the acetate really slowly just to make sure it is adhering. And that looks like it's sticking on really well. It can occasionally be a question of humidity and temperature where you are. I know from experience that um, in Australia, the summer and winter temperatures are so different that we have, it can, it can behave a little bit differently, different times of year. So you just got to kind of work with it. I'm actually going to start snipping off this acetate because that's as far as I've got to, and that has adhered nicely. You don't have to do this, I'm just showing you. And it, it looks so pretty, it looks like a watercolour painting. These make your furniture look like, incredible 
it gives you I find it gives you a real statement piece some people have said to me oh wow did you are you a hand painter did you do that yourself you know and it's I don't obviously because I'm using these but you do get this really wow factor and even if you're putting it on a really old piece of junk furniture so some of you didn't see at the beginning this is my old piece of junk furniture and it looks okay now but this was left out on the street it had been rained on it had holes in it um, it has a slightly rustic finish but I'm not too worried about that it's gonna look pretty in the end this, this will make anything look pretty if you're interested in this design or any of the Aussie designs I've posted a link above this video so you can jump on the Aussie Decor website look at all the different transfers there's a beautiful range of transfers um, we have slightly different ranges in different parts of the world so when you jump on the website go to the bottom select your region so that you can see the prices in your own currency and see what's available in your region and wherever you are in the world you'll have a distributor not too far away so don't be afraid that you're ordering from Australia if you're not in Australia you're not if you're in the UK if you're in the US if you're in Europe um, you'll get your product from your local distributor or if you know you've got a local stockist go through them because it's brilliant to support your stockist as well so if you happen to know that you've got one near you talk to them so this is going on really nicely and I can't I can't wait to see how this turns out I'm just gonna I'm just gonna peel it back very very carefully and this is the stage where if you can see you've missed a bit you just put your acetate down again and keep going how are you today Brenda nice to see you on here hi Shani Shani sorry if I've got that wrong tell me if it's Shani or Shani So I'm just peeling back gradually. Yeah, and this one is sticking really nicely. No problems, no wrinkles. I'm glad this is working quite quickly because it means I might get time to show you the koi as well. Hello from Tassie, hi Kay. I heard you've had some snow down in Tassie, is that right? I saw some beautiful pictures. I mean Tassie's beautiful anyway, but it looked spectacular in the snow I have to say. I don't know if you had snow where you were. Okay. So I'm just onto my last little bud here and this bit here and I did make a little bit of a boo-boo with this because I didn't cut it out nicely around this um, what's this thing called it's not a hinge it's kind of the cupboard the lock of the cupboard but I'm just going to push it right up to that bit of metal and see what happens I think we can, I think we'll figure it out. And there's this lovely sort of, I don't know what this is, it's just a gorgeous painted sort of effect. I'm going to add that on as well. This is lifting up beautifully with no, no dramas at all. I love it oh super pretty so as you can see I do have this little bit of lotus on my hardware I'm just gonna I'm just literally gonna scratch that off 
I don't need that bit. That's actually going to come off nicely. I might need my craft knife and it's not in front of me and I don't want to waste your time going to get it. But I will get that off. This is looking super pretty, don't you think? And really, up close, it looks, it honestly looks like it's been painted. It's very, very cool. So um, I'm just going to now just move around a little bit. Okay, this paint color is, I'm just trying to remember, it's called um, Eucalyptus. It's from a, um, a paint company in Queensland, Mezzi and Frank Paint in Queensland. I don't know if you, you know them already. It's Eucalyptus, it's pretty, isn't it? Very nice indeed. All right, look, I'm just gonna get that up. That's just coming off with a fingernail off my little bit of hardware, so that's good. So that is going to sit there, and then this part will be the other door. But rather than go through the same process and show you the other door right now, I think what I would really like to do is show you some of the fish, because I can catch up on that bit later. I'll put that to one side there because I'm pretty excited about these koi. Hello Carla, how are you? There's so many of them, like, I don't even know where to start with these koi. But the nice thing is, is that um, there's enough for loads of projects, like literally loads. If you buy one of these tubes, you get six designs, and one of them is a metre long. Check that out. So if you don't decide to use it all on one piece of furniture, you can do many, many projects. So I might just adjust this, and bring you a little bit nearer. So I want you to be able to actually see inside. Hi Joe. thanks for joining me. That way, isn't it? Okay. Thank you, Kay. So I painted this a really deep ocean colour because I wanted the fish to really pop against the background. And I think I'm just going to start snipping this. Excuse me, moving my camera again. Because there are some lovely fish and you can also you can you can play around with this a bit so you can do individual fish you can do a group of fish so I've just cut this piece off and I'm going to be a little bit um, use creative license inside my cupboard hi Tracy how are you hi Anne Marie Great of you to watch, thank you so much. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Sarah, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, I'm a brand ambassador for Aussie Decor Transfers. My time slot is Mondays, seven o'clock in Sydney. And um, I've got these gorgeous koi and lotus and I'm, I'm really excited about them. They're just super pretty. Uh, so I think I'm just going to start, I'm just going to start cutting up fish and popping them just inside as if they were swimming. What do you reckon? If you've got any um, cool suggestions, let me know. So for each one, I've cut them out. I'm just going to peel off the backing. That's the bit you don't need. Pop them in. I don't think I'm going to need um, my blue tape because they're so small I don't think I'm going to have too much of a problem with them wiggling around. So again I'm just going to make sure you can see. And I've got my yellow tool. I 
might adjust the light as well so that it's pointing inside there a bit more that's a little bit better and exactly the same process as you saw before start at one end use your yellow tool right across your transfer again I've painted and I've varnished inside here because I wanted it to be very smooth and not porous at all I didn't want any dust or anything so it's chalk painted but it's sealed over the top so that I am confident my transfer will just be able to grab onto the surface beautifully now it is a little bit tricky to see in here even for me and I'm right up close to it so I'm just starting at one end I'm peeling my fishy these are sticking really really easily like I hardly had to actually use my tool at all on this one and it's coming off seamlessly there we go I hope you can see him <laughs> floating around in there I might do a um, hi Helena how are you going hun um, there we go I'm just kind of angling my lamp so you can see inside a bit better and I might pick a slightly larger um, piece of I'm just cutting out a lotus which is a bit more eye-catching so that when I pop it in you can actually see what it is here we go how are you this morning Helena have you had had your coffee yet I know you like to watch and be creative at the same time Helena is um, one of our brand ambassadors based in Northern Ireland she does like really eye-catching work it's very creative so I've cut out this guy this beautiful sort of triple lotus which I think will really add a bit of wow inside I'm peeling off the backing don't need that this is going to go in here I kind of like the idea of this because it's like a little it's like a little pond inside your cupboard I think it's really fun to decorate inside pieces of furniture it just gives them that little bit of extra something special and the Aussie products are brilliant for that because there's all sorts of things and it's not just transfers there's the self-adhesive decoupage which is like the vinyl adhesive brilliant for lining things lining drawers lining the back of cupboards as well as the front of things of course but they just um, those and the poster prints I use quite a lot inside drawers to give some extra pizzazz and I'm actually liking these fish so much that I think once I've done my double doors on the cupboard I think I might actually um, go up here with a bit more decoration you know maybe some some fish as if they were um, swimming around Helena you're you're absolutely welcome how's your carpool going I bet you've got a, I bet you've got a you got a car full of car full of kids feel free to shoot me through any questions you have about the transfer or about the, any of the other products the link for the Aussie Decor website is above this video so um, feel free to jump on and have a little browse We've got gorgeous gorgeous things on there the link to my Facebook page is there as, as well so if you um, want to see what I'm up to do follow me on Facebook hi Kathy thanks for joining me if you've just joined let me know where you're, you're coming in from because we've got we've got Brits we've got Irish we've got I think we've got US we've got Tasmania we've got everything tonight 
which makes it really fun for me. Here we go. So again, I'm just lifting up from one end. I really like this design as well because as you've seen, you can use it on a really pale colour. You could use it on white, you can use it on any pastels, um, any of those gentle painted colours, chalk paint or mineral paint, or whatever your favourite furniture paint is. But you can also, like, I wasn't sure how it would look against the dark, but it's really pretty. And I'll give you a close up in a minute so you can see. Thanks, Jessie, that's really kind of you to say that. Boom. What you can do, you can use the shiny side. We're going to throw this away, but the shiny side of your acetate is really good for burnishing, which is just to sort of smooth and reinforce your transfer onto your, onto your furniture. I'll try and give you a little sneaky peek inside. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Technical hitch. Can you see? It's kind of cute, isn't it? I'm really excited about that. It's very cool, isn't it? So um, I'm going to continue with a few fishies swimming around inside so it looks like um, a koi pond. I'm going to put this door on so you can get an impression of what the door is going to look like. Now these things are a little bit tricky to slot in. There we go. That went in quite nicely. And so that is going to be half the door. And this bit bang that in a little bit. I don't go in that easily these uh, brilliant cupboards. Anyway you get the impression. I'm going to take that out again anyway to put my design on and that I'm going to do it so that it meets up and then it looks as if the whole design goes right across the front which I think would be really pretty and then maybe some little you know some accents of um, pretty fish and lotus up here I might even do some across the top and I'm definitely going to do something inside this drawer as well. So you get the impression of what it's going to look like when it's finished, which will be really, really nice. Yeah, isn't it cute, Caroline? It's like a little mini version of a, of a grown-up oriental cupboard. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's going to be very pretty indeed. I'm going to continue for another five minutes while I've still got you. I'm actually going to take this out so I can make sure my doors match up. There we go. Because when you cut a transfer, um, you just want to make sure your design is actually going to sort of flow nicely across your piece of furniture. So again, I'm going to tape this on. So that I know exactly it's not going to be wonky once I've finished. Here we go. lined up my drawers at the bottom, doors rather, sorry I keep saying drawers, and I've lined up my lotus, there we go, and I'll do a little bit more with you before I need to say goodbye, my time runs out, there we go, great, 
And I've got a little fish here waiting to go. I'm going to pop him in there because he can go in there. And these guys are going to go up there. I can see this is, one, this is going to be one of those projects I just fiddle with all week because it's so fun to do. So again, I'm starting at the bottom. Uh, okay, I think you can see it better if I do that. I think this was actually one of my favourite designs I've done so far because it's just, um, it really looks, it really looks like a painting. I'm just, I'm just kind of in love with it. So it's called Koi and Lotus. So search it up on the web um, and you do get a lot of value out of it, I have to say. And for those of you who um, love the transfers, you know we have um, a competition going on at the moment. We've actually extended the, the cutoff point because we were finding it was so popular and everyone was um, enjoying it so much. And it can, you know, it, if, if you don't see the competition as soon as it's released, we wanted to give more people time to jump on and participate. So the competition is um, to, if you purchase one of the new fabulous fuchsia or the um, llama, um, cacti llama transfers like this product a dry rub transfer and use it on a piece of furniture or one of your homewares or something in your home post a picture in the um, creative club facebook page there's a prize of 120 dollars worth of aussie decor products um, the winner gets their photo on the facebook page for a whole month it's really fun i've seen some beautiful creations coming out of this group so you've still got time to enter. We were going to finish at the end of July, but now we've extended it a couple of weeks. I think um, mid-August is the cutoff point. Make sure you hashtag uh, August 2021 for a chance to win. If you're, if you're unclear, just jump on the Creative Club Facebook page or the Aussie Facebook page, ask a question, um, and one of the team will get back to you if you're not quite sure how to join. Helena, you said there it's your favorite, one of your favorites too. Yeah, I just love it. So, so, so pretty. And I'm just going to do what I did before, where I'm just going to start at the bottom and start just gently, gently, gently lifting. To see whether it's adhering nicely. And it, it is. It's just, it's just lovely. Apart from Helena, if any of the rest of you use this transfer, Jesse, I don't know if you've used this one yet. I don't think I've seen you use it. Um, this is my first time using it too. super pretty wow okay I've just noticed the time I am actually gonna have to finish up with you but you can you get the impression of what these doors will look like now I'm going to polish up this hardware a little bit because it's it's nice old brass but it's a bit dirty it's a bit dirty and yuck and um, I'm going to do some more fishies inside the cupboard um, I will keep going with it because it's just, um, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. I've enjoyed you watching. I really appreciate you jumping on. I know everyone's busy. You've all got stuff going on in your life. So um, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, post them beneath this video because I will be checking back. Um, make sure you follow the Aussie Deco Facebook page, join the Creative Club, follow me and um, have a look at the competitions because they're a lot of fun. And we've got um, a cool challenge coming up uh, 12th of August, where we're going to do some, some lives with groups of us um, on this page, which will be quite hilarious, I think. Um, I'm not sure who's in my group yet. I'm not sure, but um, it, will be, it will be fun. And there'll be, be people in the US doing it, Australia, Europe. Um, so keep, keep your eyes on the page because we'll be advertising it soon. Thanks for joining, Deanne. Really nice to see your name pop up. 
all of you thanks so much and um, I look forward to seeing you next week bye for now bye Kay <laughs>